Hi, this is Phil Simon with another video for the IBM for a mid-sized business program. Today I want to talk a little bit about organizations that go from small to medium. Uh, I've seen this many times in my career as an IT consultant and I want to impart some words of wisdom. Uh, one of the biggest challenges, aside from the staffing and the culture, and in some cases even the physical space, of an organization growing, which, which is a good thing, is what to do from a systems perspective. Many organizations, quite frankly, outgrow their systems. They start off with something like an Excel spreadsheet or a QuickBooks or another really kind of uh, small scaled system. They're not really meant for multiple locations, hundreds of concurrent users. And one of the great temptations when organizations grow is to build their own systems from scratch. Now, that's a fine strategy, but a few things to keep in mind here. Um, it is very time consuming and expensive to build your own system. Plus, I almost always believe that there is an existing system or systems that can either be bought or bought and partially modified to meet a business's needs. I think about my first book, Why New Systems Fail, and a couple of the case studies are about organizations that had been growing and built their own systems. Again, if that's what you want to do, then I'm not trying to tell you you're wrong. Just understand that by starting from scratch, you are potentially creating an albatross. You have to worry about the maintenance and support. The benefit of using a system that hundreds or thousands of other organizations use is that there's this wide ecosystem, there's this support network. Organizations can reach out to other people. They can uh, attend um, conferences. They can go to support um, networks online. And they can find out the solutions to potential problems or best practices or challenges. If you're building your own system from scratch, that's much more limited. The other point that I want to emphasize today is that it's very important to build in some scale. In other words, if you're doing a uh, thousand transactions a day, don't build a system that can handle 1100 or 1200. You know, build a system, if you want to build it, that can handle 10,000. It's important to think about what happens under sort of a best case scenario. If your business continues to grow, then will you need to support more uh, vendors, more customer transactions, more employees? And if your system won't really scale very well, then the last thing you want to do is spend you know, six months or a year uh, removing the old system and implementing a new one only 18 months, two years later, go through the same process again. So uh, again, just take into consideration some of these um, factors when you're deciding on a, a replacement system. Almost always it's better to uh, buy than to make. Uh, and one last piece of advice, with the cloud, with software as a service, with open source technology these days, it is a far cry from 1995, 1996. Kick the tires on a system. Talk to other people.